Okay, so we've also been linked with uh, Ruben Semedo, uh, Portuguese centre-back from Olympiacos. Not for the first time, and that this rumour keeps coming up, and there are some reliable sources in Portugal that are kind of starting to back it up now. And it kind of feels like Wolves are going to have to buy someone in the next few weeks, and Ruben Semedo fits kind of a lot of the criteria. You know, Wolves have done a lot of business for Olympiacos in the past. Obviously, the Portuguese link. He's not actually a George, George Mendes client, at least not according to Transfer Marked. Uh, apparently the price is around 10 million euros, which is obviously something Wolves could afford. And I think this would be, obviously, look, I think everyone knows Ruben Semedo's off the field issues. Um, you can go read it on, on Wikipedia if you want to, it's right there, um, about his kidnap, robbery, wounding and illegal firearm possession um, offences he's got. Not really something I want at the club, to be honest, but and it, feel, it would feel very against Wolves' policy of not signing people with bad attitudes. But, you know, whatever. I'm more interested in him as a footballer, right? And there are things about him that I like, about his underlying numbers. Um, I think in terms of what Wolves need, for me, as a centre-back, he needs someone that's aerially dominant and can kind of win jewels, right? I think that's what Wolves need. I actually like Wolves as centre-backs. I don't have an issue with any of our centre-backs at all, to be honest. I just think we need one more. And Ruben Semedo fix a lot of the boxes, right? In terms of... Aerial wins, which is, I, I feel like, look, Willy Bolly and Roman Say are both pretty good in the air, but they're both going to go to the AFCON. They're both aging, and Willy Bolly's become a lot more injury prone. And we need someone that can kind of be the next Willy Bolly. I think we're going to have to phase him out in the next few years. And Ruben Tomatoes, in terms of aerial duels, you know, 3.2 per 90, that's better than Willy Bolly's, I think. Yeah, 3.1 for Willy Bolly. And the thing I like about Ruben Tomato is obviously he's playing in a ball dominant side at Olympiacos where he's consistent on the ball. So, you know, his tackle on inception numbers and his pressure numbers are going to be quite low because, you know, he's not bursting off the line, right? Because he's playing in a high line. Or I assume anyway, I don't watch Olympiacos, but, you know, they're the biggest team in Greece. So I assume they play a high line. Um, so those, ta- those numbers are obviously going to be quite low. Um, and he's not incredible on the ball, really, for someone that you assume plays in a possession side, although he's a pretty good dribbler. Um, but the one thing I do like about Ruben Semedo is when you look at his numbers last season and the season before that when he was in La Liga, consistently very good at... First of all, when he was in La Liga, his tackle on interception numbers were high, whereas they weren't last season. So that suggests that it is more of a style of play thing, right? Um, but one thing that I do like about him is when you look at his numbers in terms of his uh, dribbling numbers... Um, they've always been pretty high, you know, in terms of percentage dribblers tackled. 60% is a really good number. To me, that suggests that he's... Look, again, I've never watched Ruben Semedo. I'm just going off the numbers because I don't watch Greek football. But to me, this suggests that when people are running at him, he's um, he wins his duels, right? And again, obviously, he's playing in the Greek league. And I'm sure if Ruben Semedo came to the Prem, those numbers would drop a bit especially if he played in the back three, because it wouldn't be all on him. But for the price, for his age, and for what Wolves need, he ticks boxes. He can dribble it out from the back. He's pretty ball do- He's pretty aerially dominant. And when he's played in bad sides before in big leagues, he has put up big tackle interception numbers. And look, Conor Cody's fine. Obviously, his numbers are all terrible. They always have been, but that's not really his fault because he plays in the middle of a back three um, and he's kind of a unique example right Willy Bolly's always been great he's always had great numbers but I think age and um, injuries are kind of catching up with him now Max Kilman's kind of not really good at anything but not really bad at anything oh sorry he's terrible in the air he's awful in the air for someone that's as big as Max Kilman you know to win 1.5 aerial wins that's really bad that's like what Matt Doty used to win at Wolves or like, um, I, can't, I can't think of another example off the top of my head, but it's really low. Um, and that's something, obviously that's the case for a lot of young centre-backs. Most young centre-backs do have low aerial win rates, even tall ones. But I like Kilman. And in a back three, I feel like he's fine because other centre-backs can do that aerial stuff, right? Whereas I think in a back two, he gets exposed a bit. Um, and then Roman Sace is probably our best centre-back statistically. Um, but obviously that's not the case. I think it's just he's the presser, right? He's the guy that pu- pushes off the line, so it boosts all his numbers. But I think the eye test kind of proves that Roman Sace will probably be gone next year, or even be, maybe by the end of the window, if Wolves need to raise money. 
and then obviously Jason Mascara is kind of just a bit of an unknown. No one really knows what he's going to be. So for Wolves' financial situation and the situation we're in, getting a guy who's pretty experienced in big leagues and at big clubs, he's already won stuff in his career, good in the air, can dribble a bit, and has shown when he was at Rio Ave and Huesca that he can put up high defensive numbers in a low block kind of side. I think there are numbers, that all the numbers and everything about him suggest that it's kind of an okay investment. The only concern I would have is his attitude. He's not an amazing passer, never has been, and his age. If you enjoyed the video, um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, peace.